wow, it's getting more far out, right? I took that basic progression that we did and I wanted to embellish it. So I have my C, but instead of a, the second chord being F, I'm gonna go to C7. All I do is I take my C and I add pinky to the third fret on the third string, which is a B flat note. So I've got, I've got tension and it's going to F to satisfy that tension. So it's called tension and resolution. So I use C7 to get myself into F. So we just change key into F. Have a listen to that much. So what we did is put F's five chord, C7, in front of F, and that tension of C7 resolved into F. If we took that perspective from the key of F, see, here's our F here at the first fret, thickest string, C is five notes up. And that is usually a uh, seventh chord to resolve to the one. So it's C7 going to F, now you're in the key of F. So we started in C going to F. Now I'm going to go to the two chord of F of G minor, just clamp my index down on the three thinnest strings. Third finger is the fourth string. I take that shape and shift it up to F's minor three chord, A minor, from the F. So I had F, G minor, and A minor. Let's put that together. ending. After the A minor, the three minor chord of F, I go back to C, then an F. This C is very interesting. This is called a pivot chord. C exists inside of F, okay? So we had a C7, which is a little bit fancier. If you have your C chord here, it, the notes are C, E, and G. If I wanted to make it destabilized into a C7, I just add a note which is my B flat that we had down here. That wants to drive it home to F. So the cool thing is the key of F and C have a lot in common. F just has one flat, okay? So C exists inside the key of F. So this pivot chord of a C kind of makes a listener think, man, is it going back to the original or is it an F? It's kind of elusive, so it's fun to play with that. So C, that five chord F, without the B flat note, is just plain old C, and it can be a pivot chord, meaning it could be in the key of C, it could be in the key of F. By ending it on F, we're telling the listener it's definitely in F. So we definitely change from C using C7 to get into the key of F major. Let's review on that. And the last chord I have here, the final F, I'm just playing the middle four strings using pinky at the bass note here on the fifth string, then third finger. Index and middle, I can't help but flatten out my index on the three thinnest strings because a lot of the time you want to play that thinnest string, that high note, the A note, which is the third F. You can personally do with it or without it, it's totally up to you. So we're coming along there again to review. We're putting the seventh chord of the next key in front of it. So if you want to learn to do that, whatever key you're in, let's say we're in G, you're going to think of a power chord up, okay? For five scale tones, make that a seventh chord. You've now gotten yourself into the key of G. Put the D7 in front and get to G. Same applies what we just learned. C to F. And we're going to do something similar and cool. We're going to add in some major sevenths and go a little bit more far out. Physically, some of them are even easier to play. Uh, than what we've done thus far because it's been kind of bar chords in that last one um, but they sound way more exotic that's what we've got up next here we've got a c major seven taking the basic premise of what we had this last round in the progression the one chord and then we're going to the uh, c7 five chord f we got c major seven so just remove your index I really want to hear those open string voicings, so I play the thinner strings in my pick pattern. Again, chord and then three upstrokes. Drop the other two fingers. And we're going to take this configuration, kind of like an F 
may, F major, but I'm going to have a major seven open thinnest string. Open thinnest string, so I got my major sevenths in there, which is really cool. It's just one extra note. So instead of your F going F A C F, it's F A C E, or as a chord. So to recap. I'm going to go to G minor, A minor, it's going to keep those the same. What I had there at the end, I'm trying to grab uh, a G7 to turn myself back around to C. So like I said, as we advance here, it gets a little more and more interesting. So after my A minor 7, I go to a G7 here. And it's a little different kind of voicing. It's got the fifth degree uh, in the root here. I've got my middle on the fifth fret here. And then I've got my third finger down at the fifth fret on the fourth string. And what I've got is like a, a cool little inversion I can add coming from here. So it's pretty neat. That's my G. I'm stacking fingers, middle third, index, pinky, middle strings. You can even just grab that bass note and form the rest of the chord. And then just to a standard stock C. So we went key of C, F, key of C. Or you can use the one I use in the example. This is back to a uh, C major 7. It's really cool. Instead of your standard stock C, make a power chord shape and then add middle on the 4th fret 3rd string. You get that really ambient kind of far out sound. Let's use that one at the end. Play through it. Pretty far out. So there we had our major 7s we're using in the progressions. We're going to up our game a little bit further now. Now we're going to do ninths, added ninths, major ninths. It's going to be really cool. It's going to sound like this. So I'm going really far out. I'm substituting uh, really cool chords for your basic vanilla chords. So instead of our C, we had C major 7. Now we got a C with an added ninth in here. And I'm making a grip on kind of like a, a C chord. And I'm using middle and first in the lower range. Um, and then add third finger to the uh, third fret second string. You may know this chord. But I pop in an extra G up top there. So I've got pinky at the third fret thinnest string grabbing a G. Just a little fuller sounding than your standard stock. Sunday morning sort of. Sunday service type of C add nine. Stack another G up there, okay. Same right hand pick pattern as always. Okay, so we've got that much. I'm gonna put in my standard stock C7, and if you hit the thinnest string, it's still cool because it's an E note that exists in this chord anyhow. So we have, take that shape, and adjust, we're going to go up to uh, up, kind of like an F major 7 that we just did. But we're going to add a ninth in there, which is pinky at the 3rd fret thinnest string. Keep your formation here. You're going to take the index, flatten it out. And you've got a G minor ninth, so pinky grabs these 9 extensions. How that works is I have an F here, so I'm trying to get a G in there into an existing F chord. F major 9, G minor 9. A minor 9. Now I've got a cool ninth. This G9 is kind of jazzy on its own. That's what you typically hear for modern uses and more far out sort of ambient post-rock purposes. I'm going to have an open thinnest string. A little more dreamy, a little bit more hazy. Tension, but not too jazzy. I want to avoid that. Now I've got another variation on a C major 7 to end it because this G7, this G9 that's formed from a G7 but we've got higher extensions as we embellish it. It wants to resolve. 
into that C. We literally went C into the key of F and again back into the key of C. Let's point that out. Here's key of C. Now we switch around to F. Bring it around the key of C using that 5 chord. And how this is a 5 chord is an original G7 is just further embellished through G9, G13, and so on and so forth. So I'm just finding some more colorful extensions to bring me back around. Let's play that down all together again. So that one's pretty hip. Do you need that next breakthrough moment on guitar? Tired of the same old chords and playing in a rut? Here's your solution. Coming out soon, the course that'll make that breakthrough for you. Change keys with ease, learn to play guitar chords like a pro, and know them inside out like a boss with simple formulas. Not only that, but put yourself in the top percentile of guitar players with the following two bonuses. Secondary dominance to dominate your chord progressions, and parallel key to slip in and out of key and dazzle listeners. Stay tuned for more offers. Thank you.